Hi everybody, very welcome to Belfast Physio Massage. So today I'm going to teach you some yoga stretches for hyperlordosis. While our spine has a natural curvature, a condition known as a hyperlordosis results in exaggerated curvature in the lower back. This condition can be produced for different factors as a pregnant woman, people who carry a lot of weight, muscle imbalance, obesity, osteoarthritis. So in the long term, if we don't look after our lower back, we are in high risk of injury. So put attention in these yoga stretches and let's go for it. So first we will start, okay, trying to make, to relax the body, doing some breathing exercise, and after we will start with the yoga stretches for the lower back. So, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So now we will try to touch our feet, the feet, the two with be two with two, straight knees, and we should try to touch the floor. If we can touch the floor, don't worry, we can touch just this area or the area of the knees. The most important thing is that you should try to make the contraction in your abs and push as much as you can your chest towards your legs. Okay? Very good. Keep a moment in this process. And now we will go in this posture. Make sure that you put your, your soles towards the floor. Okay. And here push your chest towards the floor. Keep your spine straight. Relax your neck. Keep this posture. Go back down. Go back down. Relax. Come back for the time, so towards the floor, open a little bit your legs, back straight. Okay, and go back. Take a seat, push your chest towards the floor, relax. And one more time. Go back, go back. Feet towards the floor. Push your chest towards the floor. Okay. Important the hands. You should put all the weight of your body in your fingers, not only in your wrist. Okay. Keep this posture. Go back. Take a seat. And relax your body. Now we will take a seat and we will push our chest towards our legs. Okay, use your abs as much as you can. Try to press until you go there. Try to breathe. Breathing is important because we give more oxygen to, to our muscles and that improves the releasing of the muscle. Try to push your chest towards the floor, relax. One time. Here we are opening all the lumbar area, what we need to stretch, okay? One more time. If you are so flexible, you can interlace your fingers and just go down. Okay, or if you want, you can hold your wrist with the other hand. Important thing, you should press your knees toward in this posture. Okay. 
Now we will open a bit our legs, keep straight our back, and try to go down. Keep straight the back. Try to go down. Go back, go back. Towards the floor, it's straight spine. Give the posture. Go back. One more time. Straight spine. Go back. Okay. Now we will go towards this leg. Try to push your chest towards your leg. Okay. We are stretching all our lower back. Relax. Walk, walk a bit and go to the other side and push your chest towards the knee. Relax. One more time. I will be stretching this posture so you can see me. So go to one leg. Relax. Go back to the other side. Push your chest towards the floor, towards your knee. Relax. Okay. So, next thing we will do is yes, we will lay down and we will do the position called Viparita Parani. Okay? So, important thing, I will use my palms to hold my lower back. So, try to put your palms in your lower back, okay? Your elbows should be in the same line of your shoulders, okay? You want you can be more comfortable yourself. And just keep the posture, okay? Feet towards you, straight knees, keep the posture, okay? And after we will go to this posture. Try to put the weight of your feet towards the floor. Keep this posture, straight knees. My hips should be in the same line that my shoulders. Important thing, push the floor with your palms and feel the stretching in your lower back, in all this area. If you can go down, go down, down, yes, you can keep in this posture, okay? You don't have to go towards the floor if you can. Don't force yourself. Back, try to be really relaxed. Okay, now we will take a seat and we will do this posture. Try to keep your feet straight, touch your heels. Okay, if you can, you can use this posture. So we are releasing all the lower back. Okay, try to keep this posture. If you are more advanced, try to do this posture. Relax. Okay. Now, same posture. Deeper into Karani. Fold your body, feet towards you. And now, let's go for the same next posture. Press your hands towards the floor. Give this posture. Relax yourself. The strain is the weight into the point of the feet. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Take a seat. Hold your feet. 
type of strength you feel. That's an answer you're gonna and relax your neck, relax your shoulders, come back, relax a bit. If you want, you can move your knees in circles for one side. You have to relax all the lower back, okay? The same movement for the opposite side. Okay, keep going, keep going. One more time. So get that. Hold your lower back. Straight knees, feet towards you. Okay. Hold this posture. Hold this posture. And after, go down, go down slowly, slowly. Palms towards the floor. Push in the floor. Straight knees, feet towards the floor. Feel the stretching. Try to bend our knees, okay? Try to bend the knees. Hold your feet and try to push your knees toward the floor. Relax your neck. Very good. One more time, okay? Bend your knees. Relax. Go back and try to make some circles. Just really stare. Opposite side. Perfect. Now we will do a lateral stretching. Pull your knees towards the other knee. Okay, feet together, two by two. And try to put your hand in this side and try to feel the stretching, push with this hand your, your knees towards the floor and try to feel the lateral stretching, okay? Try to feel this posture. You should feel the stretching in this area. The same thing for the other side. Stretching, your shoulders should be towards the floor. Relax, just feel the stretching around this area. There. Now we will back. Take a seat, feet together, two with two. Breathe. Chest towards the floor, hold the posture. All the movement. One time. Inhale. Exhale. Push your chest towards the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Push your chest towards the floor. Keep this posture. Go back. Take a seat. Okay, now get up. Two with two together. Knees straight, straight knees. Okay. Relax your 
the lower back. Okay, try to relax and push a bit your chest towards your knees. Try to relax a bit, push a bit. It's normal if you feel a bit of pain, your ischiotibial scalps. Okay, yes. Try to do this posture, this movement. A bit of just to improve the the flexibility in all the back side of your body, okay? And when you can try to push your chest towards your knee as much as you can. Okay, strain knees. Strain knees. And relax. Now go back and go back. And we finish. Thank you for joining this video. I hope it can help you. Don't forget to like this video, activate the bell, and subscribe.